welcome back to my channel. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips, and I hope you enjoy my videos. And of course, don't forget to get to subscribe, comment, like, and share any of my videos. If you guys have any requests, then please comment in the comment section below. Or you can email me, my email is in, in, in the description below. Today I will be showing you how to save an email as a PDF in Gmail on your Mac. Both the Windows and Mac include a built-in PDF printer. Any files that you send for printing to this virtual printer are converted into a PDF printer, a PDF format, sorry. Don't worry though, these files won't be printed on physical paper unless you decide to print the PDF file from a real printer later. So let's get started. First, we're going to want to open up a browser. I have my Gmail already open here. And we're going to just pick a random email. Let's go to this one. It was just a comment somebody made on one of my videos. And once that's all loaded, we're going to want to go to the three little dots right here. If you hover over it, you'll see that it says more. We're going to left click this. And then we're going to go down the menu and find print. It'll open up a new file and a new window. And here you will see that the destination is save as PDF. And pages, you can customize which pages you want. There's only one page here, so I'm just going to leave it like this. And the layout, we can do landscape or portrait. We'll just leave it portrait. And also there's more options as well if you want to play around with the settings. Or if you want multiple pages, etc. So let's just, I'm just going to leave this like this just for demonstration purposes and everything looks fine to me then you will go down to the save button right here and left click and from here we will name it I will name mine one two three it'll be on my desktop you can of course change it to whatever location you want. If you really want to go into a specific file, you can just hit the little arrow right beside the so it's the drop down menu. It's just a quick way, or if you want a specific folder, they can go here, you can even add a new folder, etc. Uh, for the format, of course, just leave it as a PDF document, which is what we want. And I will just hit save here. And it should have saved on my desktop, which it did. And you can see it's right here. Double click just to show you. And there you go. There's the PDF that was saved on my desktop. That's basically it. Thanks for watching guys. Like always, I'm How To Tech Tips. Keep teching on.